Wa kia ora tātou, nō mai hara mai ki Wanganui a mātou, a kei te kōrero kōrero tia uh, Māori Conversations. So welcome to the uh, Māori Party page. It's, it's uh, beaming live and streaming live on uh, multiple platforms this evening. Um, I've been joined by Pani and Newton, um, famous for the soul sort of uh, movement out there to heal mātou, but um, I did have Taiaha Hawk coming on as well. Um, our technos are just trying to wire him in. Uh, he's a typical baby boomer like me, and he struggles with technology, I suspect. But anyway, I'm sure we'll get in there. So, haroa kia koe, haro mai kūnei, pānia, tēnā koe. Tēnā koe. So, look, um, I'll just give a bit of a background, um, because uh, I, I was around at the time of the 78 um, busting of the occupation, where 220 people were arrested, uh, majority Māori. Um, and so, Atai has just joined us. Kia ora, bro. I, 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 kicked, I kicked us off, bro. And because, um, you know, when you're live streaming with uh, this product or this app that we've got, we that don't kick off, um, it just cuts the whole system. This is what I'm told anyway. Um, but good to see you, bro. So, Pani is on, you're on. Um, so, that's all cool. I'll just going back to you. Yeah, I was just going back to 1978. Yeah, kia ora. I was just going back to um, 1978, um, which is this week, 42 years ago, uh, where the occupation, um, you know, it was quite a brutal end to it uh, when over 222 people were arrested over the course of it. And it was quite a black day in the modern history of New Zealand. Um, so you, were, you were, um, went through that whole process with your whānau, um, so tell us a bit about tell us a bit about your experiences up there, bro. Are you are you on Taiha? Can you hear me? I hope he hasn't got himself muted. No, no, you're all right. Oh, he's he's stuck. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you a story, Pani, about his dad. Um, Matt Rata got the 1975 legislation through at the end of. Sorry, Taiha, you, you sort of froze. But Matt Ranta got the um, Treaty of Waitangi Act through in the dying days of um, the Norm Kirk rolling government. Um, and uh, he, was a, he was a clever guy, uh, an outstanding member of parliament from the north. Uh, and I don't, I don't think respected as well uh, in history as he should be. But anyway, cut long story short, Taiha's dad was the first uh, person that ever appeared to advance a tribunal claim before the Waitangi Tribunal under the 1975 legislation. He lasted about three and a half minutes before the tribunal, before they kicked him out. <laughs> that was, um, yeah, that was at the Intercontinental Hotel, which is now the Pullman across the road from the university there in Princess Street in Auckland. Um, amazing story of, um, and you know, their family was uh, under-resourced, uh, like your group. Um, but uh, they just persevered, and um, and ultimately uh, they awoke all Māori, um, the people at Takaparafa and Ngāti Whātua, awoke us all to you know how how we'd started to normalise the way in which which had been oppressed oppressed. So so Taiha, now now that you're unfrozen, give us um give us a bit of the history, bro, because you were up there on the hill at the time. Um, look. Um Tuatahi rā, uh, ka mi ka tangi, um, ki ngā kai rākau o te pō. Uh, rātau, oku manu taupunga, rātau, oku manu ngā ngahu, uh, rātau, uh, ngā ringa toi hau nui, i whakamaru maru i te, te whakanoho ki runga i a takaparawha, a takaparawhau, uh, whātakau mā toru ngā tau ki muri. Uh, nā rātau te heke wera wera, uh, nā rātau ngā whakawhiu o te tangata kaikiri, uh, a te ngā kaukino, uh, te kōrero pārau, te tāhai, te whakamau mm. ahara, mm. te whanoke, te kore aroha, te ngā kauapo, e rapehi tanga katoa, i tau ki rungi a rātau, uh, ko au a hunga, katoa kua mate noa. Kua mate noa rātau, 
Kāre rātau i kite, te hoki ngā mai o te whenua. Kāre rātau i rungo, uh, te hahau o te rungo ki wainga i te krauna me ngā tifātu o rākei. Kāre rātau i kite ngā hua, i puta mai i ngā whāte kau mārua tau, nā reira. Tēne ngā mihi ki ngā ngate, rātau ki a rātau, a tātau ki a tātau, a tēnā koe te whare. Tira. Yeah, um, great day for us um, yesterday. Um, you know, all the emotions come flooding back about uh, about the occupation and, uh, you know, all the kōrero, um, uh, which we try and look back on with, um, you know, with pride and, and aroha. But, um, you know, like Dad and Mum, um, we can't help but feel the, you know, the scars of all of that. Um, uh, it's a very different time here in Norake for our mokupuna. You know, things that um, Dad's generation could never dream about. Um, through the struggle, uh, we have given ourselves license to dream, uh, to dream that we can have something that resembles tino rangatiratanga, that something that resembles mana motuhake, and um, and where we we can live on our land, um, knowing that the title of the land is within the Ngāti Whātua Rākei Trust. Um, you know, we settled for a pittance. We've had two settlements and we've settled for a pittance. But at the end of the day, um, it's about releasing your oppressor um, for us. Well, for me, could I say for me? It was about, for me personally, forgiving them so that they could get out of my life and I could take responsibility and control for my own life. Um, our Uncle Grant, um, you know, he said in 2011 when we signed our second claim that um, it was time to cut all ties with the Crown. Um, because, you know, as Uncle Bob says uh, in that great song of his, um, you need to emancipate yourself from mental slavery and... Uh, Nothing worse than, you know, a nation of people being slaves on their own land. So, you know, today, uh, yesterday, uh, didn't cry all day. Um, but um, forgive me if I start crying anytime soon, because, you know, <laughs> um, uh, they did it hard. Mm. They did it really hard. And um, I don't know, you know. I don't know how pe people actually view us up here on the hill, but um, we get some manuhiri come here and say to me, oh, Taiaha, you're so lucky, you know, to have all this. And I, I just, you know, I try not to bite back. I'm like, well, it's got nothing to do with luck. You know, it had everything to do with a, a lot of bloody hard work and sacrifice and, you know, not forgetting that um, we were burnt out of our, our papakaing. Um, you know, Dad talks about people turning up and torching a kaumatua house while they're sitting down having their breakfast. Mm. You know, um, no, nothing lucky about that. Um, and then trying to fit, you know, those 20, 30 odd families that, 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 that sort of hang, hang out, hung out right till the end right to the death, before being burnt out, and having nowhere to live. Um, so, you know, they paid the ultimate price for us to um, to be who we are today. And so we have a great responsibility, us mokupuna, to ensure that their sacrifice doesn't go, um, is for naught. You know, so um, you know, my 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 kids, 
at a young age were, you know, born into a brand new house, which happens to be falling around my ears at the moment, John. So if you could help me out with that, <laughs> I would appreciate that. But, you know, it was their right. It was their right to live here. And um, mm. so we've got, we've got a lot more work to do um, because there are other whānau who, who haven't moved back to Ōrākei. Uh, we, we do have the land, but, we, you know, we've got a, um, you know, no, nobody wants to lend uh, taiaha money to build on his, his Māori land. You know, they, they give me money to build on uh, Pākehā land, but not my own. So, he, he raru raru anō tērā, but, right. you know, we've, 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 um, we're on the comeback, and um, it's just really important that um, that our, our tamariki, our mukupuna, don't forget that everything we have now came out of the struggle. Without the struggle, there would be nothing. Um, Dad talks about um, he had to break the law um, because the law was unjust. Um, and when the law is unjust and the law oppresses uh, the people, which has got long history of doing that to Ngāti Whātua and other iwi, um, you know, you got to take off your your uh, Christian, you got to leave your Christian values at the door, which tells you you can't do that stuff. Hmm. Um, because if you don't make some sort of drastic uh, change, I know there's a new word for it these days, but if you don't make that, you know, that turn around in here, um, we... <clears throat> well, Ty has gone and got frozen. You got frozen over there, Brad. But in, in, anyway, I, I've, we've had a whole range of people weighing in on the conversation. Um, your cousin Martin Cooper, he was uh, he was up there. He got arrested, um, and um, yeah. your uh, your niece lost her life uh, up there, old Joni. Um, so you know, I, I think that's we we can never. This just happened a moment of years ago. It wasn't this. This wasn't in the 18th century. You know. 17th century, 18th century, 19th. You know, this is this is um, just at the end of the last century that this happened, and um, so I just wanted to give a big mihi to the contribution, particularly the old fella, um, Joe. There, there's no doubt that your dad um, suffered and mum suffered um, significantly in just holding the line there, right? So I just wanted to give a big mihi to you and your whanau. Um <clears throat> And, you know, it's remarkable, um, but we've still got a long way to travel, uh, given how, how far we were held back. You've been burnt out. Uh, for those of you that have just joined the live stream, uh, their papakainga was uh, burnt out. They were burnt out. Um, it was right down there on the beach um, where, where most Māori were, like at Tapuia. If you look at Tapuia Marae, just disgraceful what's happened to the people out there. Um, it's disgraceful with what, what happened to our people at Iwa Mata. I'm going to come to that soon. I just wanted to give a big me to you, Taiha, and the whānau, um, particularly the hawk whānau, because a lot of us were around that time, right? And it takes courage uh, that is built off somebody that has uh, absolute faith uh, in their people and in the justice of their position. So I, I just wanted to come to you, Pania, and say, um, you know, you roll the camera forward. You know, and um, the injustice, um, it wasn't washed away at um, Takaparafa uh, with that outstanding stand where Nachi Fatu awoke in all Māori. And from there, you know, uh, uh, it was uh, incredible. Fire, fireman Hinnick on the golf course and up and down the country, it set off uh, firestorm. I'm telling you this, if, um, if the government hadn't uh, changed, in uh, 84 and turned things around, um, you, know, you know, there would have been, uh, we were heading towards armed rebellion. Incredible. But Pania, um, did you get any learnings from Boot Hill and <laughs> as it used to be called uh, and the like? And once again, we, we have a courageous leader. It's the face of the movement. So Kapai, welcome on and kōrero mai. Hi, well, um 
tuatahi ka um, tatu koe ngā kōrero me ngā mihi kua mihitia. Um, yeah. Ai, ka whaipukaru hoki um, kia rātou kua, kua mene ki te pō. Um, ano, uh, kia, kia, kia koutou, kia tātou, um, e mātakitaki mai ana i tēnei hōtaka i tēnei wā ka tika ka mihi hoki kia koutou. Yeah. Um, I runga i ngā tini āhuatanga o te wānu reira. Kia ora tātou. Um, yes, so to your part, I there, um, John, I think before uh, we got involved with our kaupapa here, Ihu Mātau, one of the first things we did was we looked at the uh, many Māori political movements that happened across Aotearoa and in our history. And um, what happened at uh, Takaparapa and um, the Fafai. Uh, there was a huge, a significant um, inspiration and motivation for us here at Uhumato. Um On many levels, you know, their whawhai uh, went to the crux of uh, what Tino Ranga Tiratanga and Mana Motuhake was about at that time. And when I look back, for me, I think, you know, that was the perfect example um, of exercising Tino Ranga Tiratanga in a modern context, um, post-colonial uh, settlement and in the face two of, um, you know, the, well, what led to um, to the Māori Renaissance period as well. Um, what I personally took away from what happened um, at, at Takaparapa and, um, was what the Fano um, personally suffered and sacrificed. And for um, us who started the Kopapa, who accepted the legacy of our, our Pakeke, um, you know, we were criticized a lot and we still are challenged and um, called all sorts of, and, and ridiculed and called all sorts of names. But I remember when um, Taiaha mum and dad came to Ihumato very early on um, in, in the, the occupation of our whenua or the reclamation, I like to call it. Uh, and they came and they sat in the tent with us and they shared their stories. For us, that was a huge um, motivation and encouragement. And it, despite what everyone was saying on the periphery, for me and for us, it was like, we must be on the right track. If Papa Joe Hawke and Fire Rene can come here and tell us to stay strong and be staunch. And what we are doing is, is fighting the good fight, although we were seen as breaking the law. Um, you know, I've been to the last few um, Maumaharatanga for, uh, you know, this, important um, whawhai and important kaupapa up at, the, at, at Orake in the last few years and just hearing the stories uh, and you know seeing where people have come uh, from that time until now uh, was very exciting uh, was um, very encouraging as well but it was also uh, very sad to hear of um, some of the the trauma that people uh, carried from that fafai, but I like what you said, Taiha, was the sacrifice for a greater gain, and what happened there contributed to a better Aotearoa. And I think that's what we're striving to do here at Ihumato, even though we seem to be fighting for our small whenua here and for our tino ranga tiratanga and for our heritage and our whakapapa and and all those things, uh, ultimately, what happens here will contribute to a better Aotearoa because that's what we saw with what happened at Orake. And um, like Orake, it wasn't, um, that wasn't the last bastion. You know, it encouraged us here uh, at, at Ihumato and it was uh, encouraged by Fina Coopers hikoi for the Māori Land March and in years to come this kaupapa will inspire another movement um, for 
better treaty relations or rangatiratanga. Um, but yeah, no. Overall, it was yeah, massive for us. And we always had to look back in order to move forward. Yeah, well, um, my baby boomer mates just dropped out again. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get him back soon. Um, I, I was uh, around his father uh, in the most, some of the most difficult moments when uh, the power of the state weighs in. Uh, and, you know, you know Taya's whānau, um, work, working poor whānau, like most of our whānaus are, and um, it's the it's the um, the way they can grind you down, right? It's the yeah, way, yeah. Um, no matter how courageous and, and righteous you you are, uh, it's the way they rob you of your mana in terms of saying things like, "Oh, you know, why don't you look, just look after your kids? Why don't you just move on?" You know, well, it's so easy to move on, and and they just. They investigate uh, your whanau that are on the welfare. They investigate your whanau that are working on IRD. There's a lot of things that are at play off the ball that a lot of our people yeah. don't appreciate uh, that our whanau, um, they went after them, right? And so the, that hawk whanau, they went after them. Um, Muldoon was terrible, right? But uh, but when the, when the forces of the state come after you, they can grind you down. So... I just wanted to tell you, and, and then you, Pania, it's, I've seen you struggle, Pania. It was a tough, tough um, existence. And sometimes when I saw Joe when he was by himself, doubt, doubt started to creep in. So, but, you know, where the hell the, um, the guidance come from, I don't know. But Taiha, well, you, you, you were part of that. So, you know, where, where did the inner strength come to get your dad up off the floor? Because I saw him on a number of times. Yeah. Well, good. Kia ora, John. You know, no doubt we were um kaita mau tonu ma tau ngā haki haki o aua mamai. E, ko, e kore rawa te rā mamai e, e whakarerea mai a mātou. Mm. Um, um, but, you know, I was thinking about, I, I knew you were going to ask this question. I was thinking about it before we came on. Um, and look, you know, the wairua, wairua Māori, they took the land you know, the language, um, the art forms, um, the storytelling. Uh, they took everything away from us, but but the wairua never died. You know, it's nothing short of a miracle that um, we here in Orake are still alive. You know, ko āra āraake anō, ko hoki mai te whenua, ko hōhau te rongo. You know, we're building our, our financial base. Ko āraake anō te reo. You know, lucky when I was a kid, lucky if there were five kaumatua that would actually speak the real so we could hear it. Mm. You know, so you're right, John. The state has all this power, and they're designed, the state is designed, um, as uh, Rangi Nui Walker, Dr. Rangi Nui Walker would say, to squash you like a flea. And um, they had a bloody good go at mum and dad. Mm. They had a really, um, you know, I uh, probably don't have enough time to tell you everything, but um, no, we did it hard. Mm. We did it hard, and and most of that stuff happened after the point. It happened before the Orake report. So from 78 um, to 87, mate, we were getting it in the neck. We were being uh, assaulted everywhere we went. We couldn't go anywhere. Uh, anywhere. Nowhere was safe. And, um, you know, the, the, all this hegemonic um, uh, learning, because uh, Māori were doing it to us too, John, you know, because it made them feel stink. And I, and I really hope this isn't happening to Pania, but sometimes I think about it probably is. And we pray for you, Pania, your family and your all of your supporters, because um, it's just human nature to start, you know, start picking on the righteous one, you know, because it makes everyone feel uncomfortable because of fear. Uh, we went through um, uh, what, 30 years of forgiving, you know, everyone in sundry that had done something to us because we had to let it go, you know. We had to let it go. And in that way, you give them license to free their own minds 
and free their hearts from the hatred that they point at you because the state um, has the power to squash them like a flea. And so, you know, fear, or oh, te ra matakutanga, he anu anu rawatu. So we don't blame them for being scared. Um, but um, a bit like you, John, you've got to blame them for being dumb. You know, if they continue to, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> think that, um, that, 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 you know, the Crown um, and the state have, have changed, you know. Have they changed? And um, we've had we've had um, breach after breach after breach of both of our treaty claims, which tells us that the crown hasn't changed at all. Hmm. Um, and you got to keep them honest. You got to keep your head down and your ass up, and you got to keep grinding away. It never ends, Panya. It never ends. Um, um, Mum said it. Um, said it well um, she said you know they'll come back we got the land now but one day they'll, they'll have another go uh, but I have faith that um, should that happen if that should happen again Orake will be united we, we won't be divided um, we won't take uh, you know they, they dangle some carrots at us again we won't take them because this generation now um um, they're not scared, you know, and they've got, got to understand when they burnt the, our tupuna out of the papakainga, we don't understand that sort of fear. We haven't been in that position, so we can't blame them for for not being there. Um, and, and uh, you know, um, Dad talks about, you know, killing your oppressor with love. And for years... I, used to, I was like, Dad, what the hell does that mean? You know, but it came back to, you know, we we, we had to, you know, that's the true power of love. Yeah. And it wasn't a blind decision to just forgive them, uh, you know, for their sins against us. Carl, Carl, we've had 30 years to do this. And, um, yeah, we got a lot more to do, John. And um, that's why I think it's really important that the Māori Party get back into Parliament um, uh, because we got those other, how many? 14? we got those other 14 members Māori you know, who can't do their thing. They can't do or reach their potential where they are. Uh, you know, some of them trying, uh, you know, some of them are, are doing some stuff but their potential will never be reached in the Labour Party. As you know, John, you were mm. there. Mm. Uh, my dad was there and they gave him yeah. a hell of a time. Yeah. You know, yeah. Ko, ko yeah, yeah. I was and, there with him. Um, right? But um, so, you know, um, all ups to, to Pania and her, her whanau and, you know, our whanaunga, ngā oho, ko e Pania. Hmm. Um, just a very quick story. We had a meeting, and none of us were, were supposed to go out to um, 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 uh, to Ihumata. We had a meeting when look, the old man he's he's a bit past it, and you know, you just take one bloody idiot out there, and next thing you know, us hawks got to go out there and 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 you know the rest. Anyway. <laughs> I'm bloody um, sitting there watch, trying to watch the football one day, and my partner says to me, "Oh, Dad's on Dad's on uh, Facebook." I said, "Oh, doing what?" Oh, he's gone out to Ihu Mato, and I picked up the phone, rang my sister, like, "Hey, what the bloody hell's going on here?" Um, but it was because we didn't want uh, Pani, and we didn't want to take anything away from the Kopapa. We didn't want to become the Kopapa, you know. So. But uh, Dad saw something on TV and he didn't tell me. And then um, he ends up there with Mum and they had a great day. They had a great day. And my only regret is they didn't bloody take me. But we are not, um, you know, we are your, we are your close whanaunga. 
Noho, and um, a lot of the Fano being out there to lend their support. Um, and uh, I, I would have to say you've got a lot of support here in Oraki, whether 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 you see Taiahas face there or not. Kira um, yeah. I, Look, um, the issue, their, their family. The I, I saw it. You know, I was. Um, was terrible um, when I reflect on you know you know because we're all doing it tough and um, but uh, the struggle uh, the the cost um, the cost to Joe and the family just was significant so I just wanted to turn to you now in, in a modern day context because the struggle still goes on so and I, I saw at times um, through your journey uh, where your own whanau turned on you. Um, because you know they get got at, they get got at, um, and they, and they're all looking for the, the redemption somewhere else, right? So you know the courage, the, the courage that Joe had, um, some of his whānau turned, you know, but that's because we're so we're so ground down, you know. So I don't I don't blame them, but I, but but what I do say is is that um, people like you, um, you know, how do you get through those dark moments? Where everyone's, you know, you, you think like you're just um, a lone ranger and got no support. How, how do you get through all that? Yeah, it's been um, tough, but I must say that there's been um, more ups than there have been downs. Can um, You know, this is a different Aotearoa now. It's a different context. When I look back to... Um, you know, what was happening at, at Orake, 95% of the population was against them. Um, when you look at what happened at Ihumato, almost, you know, the same was for Ihumato. And that shows the consciousness that has shifted in Aotearoa in terms of, um, you know, uh, upholding Maori rights and, and Indigenous rights. So what happened here at Ihumata was very timely because it was almost, you know, 40 years on from what happened at Orake. And I guess everybody was just waiting for the next Maori movement. Everyone was quite dormant. Um, and so it was very timely. But it took a really long time to build up the support that we received last year uh, during the eviction in July. And a lot of my, uh, our courage and our resilience came from what had happened at, um, at Orake. You know, I remember Fyrene sharing her stories about them being criticised and having her telling me that I needed to build resilience, uh, otherwise I wouldn't survive in this kaupapa. So knowing that very early on and coming into this territory, I had to build uh, and employ tools to protect my wairua. And it was sad that uh, the most criticism that I did receive was from uh, my own whānau. Uh, but again, I knew it came with the territory and I draw strength from the whenua. I drew strength from the stories of what happened at Orake and the support that we received from the whānau at Orake and their supporters, such as Jimmy O'Day and Roger Fowler and, um, you know, all those who were up there uh, during that time. And also what happened to the likes of Ngani Kōman Hinnik and uh, Whaia Iba Rickard. Uh, and um, so, yeah, no, knowing that history helped um, me build resilience and strength and it was very funny because i unwillingly and unknowingly became the face of the kaupapa out of the blue and it wasn't something that i um wanted to do um despite what you hear in the media or what you see i'm quite introverted and so and i'm quite private so when that happened um it was quite a scary time for me and then um you know being attacked and and called all sorts of names uh, was very hurtful, but um, you know, Taya has said with his papa, and he said to us when he came to the funeral back in 2016, when we first started and we were a solo tent on the side of the road, 
he said to fight hate with aroha and that's what we've done all this time it was not about wasting our energy fighting our own Fano, who we know struggle from intergenerational trauma and you know, we know that corporations like Fletcher's employ tactics like divide and conquer similar with the crown uh, and so our focus was just on what our kaupapa was about and who was our target and that was this multinational corporation and it was the crown who confiscated our whenua and it was agencies like Heritage New Zealand who would not protect our heritage and our whenua um, because the law said that they couldn't even though it was against the morals and the ethics of the individuals that were working on our case so yeah it was very awkward but I always had at the back of my mind that my sacrifice over these five years and our whanos and our marais and our papakainga sacrifice is only five minutes in the long history of oppression and injustice against Māori and I'm only a link in the chain of oppression after me will be my nieces and my nephews and my mokopuna that are yet to come and so having that uh, knowledge too gave me um, strength to carry on in this kaupapa, knowing how important Orake was, Te Kōpua, Parihaka, the Māori land march. I knew one day Ihu Mata would be um, that another landmark case in our nation's history, and it was worth the sacrifice, and it was worth the daggers taken in the back and uh, all sorts. So... Um, and saying that, though, I do look forward to the day when the resolution is announced and I do get to retire and grow kai on our whenua. Um, and I think, too, that, um, you know, our sacrifice now, we can look forward to reaping the, the rewards that um, Orake enjoy uh, and, and Ngaitahu enjoy. And I hope one day that we can... Um, uh, be in a position where they are in the future. Hey, okay. Well, we're heading into the home straight now, and, and um, my mate from Boot Hill, you know, he used to play rugby league for City Newton. I used to play rugby league for Monica. <laughs> we used to have <laughs> punch ups down at Carlow Park. But anyway, look, the um, uh, just as we head into the back end of the show here, um, in the chat and the conversation. I was just wondering, uh, and then Taiha, will, 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 when he comes back in, will have the same question. You know, like, what's the future look like uh, out at Ihu Mato for you? You know, um, is uh, the 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 king. The, the good news is, we understand um, the king and yourselves have um, reached uh, an agreement. And um, so, what I mean, we're all on tenterhooks over this, and we we want you to, um, you know, have victory there. We all. All Māori are willing it, yeah, because there's an ihu mātau in every rohe. There's an ihu mātau in every rohe. And the the battle that you've won out there is a, a new precedent, as Oraki did for all of us. So, you know, we, 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 we are as your moi moi as then, uh, we, we, where are we going to land out there? Yeah, that's always a tricky question for us. Uh, for many years now, we've been saying that um, you know, we want the whenua return so that we can hold it in trust for all of Aotearoa to enjoy. Um, but in saying that too, our whanau have never had an opportunity uh, since the whenua was confiscated to think or dream about what could potentially be for this whenua. You know, there's a lot of conversations about reclaiming uh, the whenua for what it was once used for, which was to grow kai to feed the growing population of Tamaki Makoto. There's other stories of uh, building an education centre or a justice um, centre to talk about the stories of the successful Māori political movements that have happened in Aotearoa uh, and to share our stories of the significance of ihu to Tamaki Makoto's story and our nation's story. Um, there are other aspirations uh, around, you know, growing kai, you know, growing kai, having um, glass houses, growing cattle and all sorts of things. Um, but I think 
our whānau, uh, after everything has calmed down, will go into a bit of a hiatus and spend some time really thinking about, you know, what is our collective vision uh, for this whenua. Uh, and I can only hope that it would be to keep it uh, green uh, so that we can honour the stories of this whenua, uh, so that one day too that uh, our mokopuna can come here and uh, you know, benefit from all the the things that green space and um, and our connection to our whenua, Taurikura, has to offer us and our health and our well-being. Um, so yes, we are waiting patiently for the resolution to be announced. COVID has kind of slowed things down. But uh, what I can say is that at the moment, here on the whenua, we are living, uh, we are trying to live our best lives. We are growing kai here. We are, uh, you know, practicing our tikanga and our kawa here. And um, that's the best that we could have hoped for looking back to what had happened in July last year. Okay, that's great to hear. Well, listen, it um, looks like um, my mate from Boot Hill's not coming back in. <laughs> His, his iPhone must have <clears throat> run out of gas. But uh, <laughs> look, it's, been, it's been an absolute pleasure having, um, you know, two champions uh, on. Taiha was there with his dad and his mum and um, his brothers and sisters. And so they, um, but, you know, here's the thing. I, I was there and I was uh, 1978. I was um, younger than you. And uh, I never got arrested. Um, I was too quick for that. But the thing is, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you know, um, no, I, I was uh, lucky enough to have experienced it all, um, e even the Manukau hearings in 1982 over at Ihumata, um, you know, before, uh, under the old law, um, which made it difficult. But anyway, you know, I've never seen a people probably worked over better by a state than Ihumata. You had the airport take your land. You, you had the sewage ponds take your land. Um, you, you had the earthworks um, in regard to just... Uh, seizing your whole um, kaimona um, bed. So big, it's a big uh, constant story of just um, mm -hmm. the power of the state working people, rating sales on Māori land. We've all suffered that. But uh, every trick in the book um, they threw at you and at Orake, you know, you know, just to get you out of the way and out of their face, um, to, to remove the brown people from, from the land so they could use it for other things. So if it wasn't for the likes of the Joe Hawks and yourself, uh, we, we'd be worse for the wear. And some of us oh, consider yeah. ourselves to be brave and courageous, but you, you, you never know it until you actually see someone make the stand. So I just wanted to, me, to you and to Taya for coming on for, for his mum and dad and, um, and them. But behind you and, and Joe, um, we're just hundreds of wonderful people who got inspired. And, yeah, would you wanna, so, so I'll just hand it over to you, to me, to them, and then um, we'll, we'll end our uh, Māori conversation. Remember, vote Māori, vote Māori. Hey Māori kia koe, hey Māori kia koutou, poti Māori, poti Māori. <laughs> Don't worry about my mate Billy Jackson, my ex-cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, to, to all your um, whānau and friends and everyone that weighed in behind you, Ai, ka tika, um, me mihi kia, kia koutou e mata ki taki mai ana i tautoko mai i tēnei kaupapa, uh, ki te tiaki whenua, ki te tiaki maunga, ki te tiaki i uh, ngā āhuatanga o te Māori. Uh, mei kore ko koutou, uh, mei kore ko, ko mātou, nō reira, ka tika ka mihi, ka mihi, ka mihi, um, i whakapau wera wera, i whakapau kaha, uh, ko tau i tau toko mai i tēnei kaupapa no reira e kore rawa te, te puna aroha i mimiti mo koutou no reira. Uh, ka, mihi, ka mihi hoki kia koe, John, no i tau toko hoki i tēnei kaupapa, uh, i tō mātou hāpori, i tō mātou mara, i tō mātou papa kāinga i ngā tau kua pahuri ake no reira. Ka tika hoki ki te mihi kia koe, uh, me te pāti Māori, i, i tau toko mai hoki, um, aha kua te... Uh, Ngā ture i, i whaiake um, um, i ngā taukua pahure, engari um, ai, ko, 
ko koutou tērā hoki te Pāti Māori i kaha a ki te tautoko mai a mātou i ngā marama i ngā tau kua pahuri a ki nore ka tika ka mihi ka mihi. Kia koe hoki tai aha me tō whānau, me tō marai, me tō hapu hoki i tautoko mai a ka mihi ka mihi. John, if I could just very quickly... Um, um, so our Uncle Grant married into Ngāti Paua, the, the Coromandel family, um, from that from that oh, yeah. part of the Hui Anō. Um, they gifted Dad, or they loaned Dad a um, he kākuhu kuri, and this kākuhu kuri was said to have healing powers because they knew, um, you know, um, that we were hurting. And um, we had it in our care for some uh, four years, and um, it, it brought us a lot of comfort to know that other people were thinking about us, um, that, that other people would give us such a taonga, a treasured taonga from their tūpuna, uh, to place a kōra way of uh, love and, um, and protection upon us. Um, so, um, pānia, uh, kei te kainoi mātou māu, uh, tō whānau, um, me au hoa riri anō hoki. Um, mm. Mā te atua e whakarite he tēpu ki mua i te aroaro o au hoa riri. Um, and if oraka is anything to go by, you know, time is a great healer and, and people get there eventually. Um, eventually they see the light. Um, but we, uh, being the activists that we are, we shouldn't have to wait for the maramatanga to fall on them before we actually take some action. So yes, um, you know, and so when you when you accept that you have to take action and you know you're going to piss some people off, it comes with a whole lot of stuff that that's not nice, um, that is quite harmful. Um, but uh, the power of prayer, whoever you you know your God of understanding is. Uh, very powerful. Uh, Waiata, you know, we, you know, we were starving. I have to say this all myself. I was bloody starving on Bastion Point, and and music kept me alive. Music kept me alive, and um, and then sending me back to that prison called Saint Stephen's. Well, um, there was food there. katoa, but there was food there. So, katau ngā tini manaki tanga kirungi akoe e te tuhine. Katau. Koutou ngā, ngā, ngā kahu pōkere o tēnei wā, tēnei kamihi. Uh, and uh, kia tau e rā manakitanga ki rungi a koe, John. Kia ora. Um, you have, your, you have uh, our father's full support. Um, can't speak for all of his relatives up here on the hill, though, <laughs> but, uh, but Joe Hawk is right there beside you. And so, um, you know, so, so are we. His tenei taha o taku whānau. Um, and so all the best. And, uh, um, you know, most of the kōrero I didn't hear because of the uh, the technology coming in and coming out, but I think that's your fault, John, because you asked me to come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, how roa kia kōru, eh? So, mā te atua manaki tanga kia kōtou. And pō mari. Pō mari. Uh, 